High up in the mountains in the north of India stands the Bankhandi Temple. And in spite of the fact that this temple is pretty far from everywhere and really very difficult to get to, there is a constant stream of visitors at this temple. Wealthy and influential visitors. You get politicians just before the elections, you get senior uh, lawyers, people involved with major court cases. Some of the greatest criminal minds of the country have made their way up to the Bankhandi Temple. So you ask, what is so special about this temple? This temple is dedicated to the goddess Bagula Mukhi, the yellow goddess. Bagula Mukhi is a Mahavidya. So the Mahavidyas are goddesses of supreme knowledge and ultimate wisdom. The Mahavidyas are all worshipped according to tantric practices and rituals. There are 10 Mahavidyas altogether and Bagula Mukhi is the eighth in their hierarchy. Bagula Mukhi is the goddess of ultimately superior intellectual speech where words mix with the ultimate form of wisdom. How cool is that? She is the goddess who can give you the power of superior speech, such superior speech that with it you can paralyze your enemies. Bagla Mukhi in her iconography is depicted as a beautiful woman all in yellow. She's generally shown sitting on a throne with a corpse for a cushion, a dead body, and it's a male corpse. So she's shown sitting on a throne with a male corpse for a cushion. With one hand, she offers you her blessings, and with the other hand, she is shown pulling out the tongue of a demon who lies at her feet. According to Hindu belief, Brahma is the one that created the entire universe, and therefore he is the only one who can destroy the entire universe. And Bagla Mukhi, with her capacity for superior speech, is placed on the same platform as Brahma's weapon. Because with cleverly crafted words, you can either create or destroy the universe.